All right, we're at the range today and I just picked up a nine millimeter FMK, second generation C91. Anyway, uh, gun is made in California and uh, pretty amazing. So I decided to support companies that are trying against the stream as you would say. Anyway, this is a very affordable firearm. At, uh, uh, I just picked it up for $289 in California. Can you believe it? Anyway, uh, it seems to fit very nice. And right now we're gonna try to shoot it straight out of the box. See what happens if we jam, if we double feed, anything. Failures to extract, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's see what it does. First shot, failure to extract. Well, that's okay. We're gonna keep doing it until we break it in. Uh huh. Woo. I have a feeling this is gonna be a nice little stinker, another failure to extract. three failures to extract. Another failure to extract. All right, so first 10, every single one failure to extract. We might have to take it home, take it apart, take a look at the extractor. So we're gonna try one more magazine, see if it uh, improves a little bit. We're gonna try a little bit different ammo. This is LAX, and uh, I tell you what, LAX ammo sucks. I bought some nine millimeter and uh, ran it in my just right carbine, and it was, I had a squib, where half of a round got sheared off inside, half of a shell got sheared off inside the barrel, and then started having issues with LAX ammo. So let me take a little break. I'm gonna load it up with some uh, blazer brass and some other stuff, and uh, let's see how it does. All right, let's try some some cheap, cheap range ammo, see how it does. All right, seems like we're doing a little bit better, although there is a failure to feed right now.
well, other than one failure to feed, the blazer brass seems to be doing just fine. Let's try one more mag. Blazer brass, round two. Let's see how it does. Failure to extract. Blazer seems to be doing a little bit better. We'll try some other ammo. All right, let's try some Fio cheese. We're all trying 115 grains. All the ammo, 115 grains. Failure to extract. Let's try that again. Alright, looks like AX is shitty ammo. I'm gonna have to break this in, but it's doing a lot better. So we're gonna shoot a few more rounds and see. Alright, let's try one more round of uh, one more magazine of LAX and see if it's going to jam on every time and failure to extract on every single shot. Let's take Wow, complete magazine, not one jam. Hmm, I think I'm breaking it in. Let's try one more. Well, I have to tell you, the gun is pretty accurate. Um, it feels super, super nice in my hand. Feels better than the Glock. Um, it seems to be working out through its kinks and uh, the more I shoot it, the better it becomes. So let me, let me fire off a few more rounds. One more. So, so far, after the first three or four magazines, the thing is shooting all kinds of ammo without an issue. So let's try LAX ammo one more time and see if we can go through one magazine without any glitches.
perfect. I think it's getting better. You know, I'm not counting how many rounds I've put through this thing, but again, as I said, it's out of the box. And uh, so far, it seems like it's working its own issues out. I mean, first clip was nothing but failures to extract, then feed issues. Um, you know, the first three or four magazines were just shit. But now, man, it seems to be doing okay with all kinds of ammo. This is about 60, 70 rounds, I guess, later. So let me fire off one more clip of this cheap LAX ammo and see if it gives us any issues. Perfect. I don't think Glock has cleared the market on perfection. This thing is functioning very, very nicely. And I tell you what, this back strap, whatever it is, it makes it so comfortable to hold. I mean, I really like this is a lot better than my 30SF. I got my 30SF right here, and uh, it feels fine. I mean, I bought it because I liked it, but I tell you what, I tell you what this sits in my hand a lot better and i tell you what i i if it wasn't for minor cosmetic and internal differences for all intents and purposes this is a glock 19. i mean let's fire off some more yeah all right let's do one more how about that I'm really starting to take to this thing. I mean, I really, really like it. Guys, 290 bucks, 289. Holy moly, if this performs from now on the way it's doing right now, I'm happy, 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 happy. One more clip. Flawless. All right, guys, I'll give you my final thoughts in a second. Okay, so now for the ultimate test. Brand new out of the box FMK, and uh, let's see what happens. Loaded up the magazine with uh, some Fiokis, then a couple of Blazer Brass, then a couple of LAX, then some more Fiokis, Blazer Brass. Actually, actually, the last two are LAX. They're all mixed up in here. All cheap ammo. See if it cycles through this. This is going to be my final test. I have not had any mishaps since the first four or five magazines. Firing like a champ. I love it. I was so worried about this. I thought 300 bucks. <sighs> what can you expect for 300 bucks, right? Well, it looks like... The guys in uh, Placentia, California did me right. This is awesome. Feels good, shoots straight, eats all kinds of ammo, but I'm not gonna talk. Let's not count our chickens before they hatch. All mixed up ammo, see how it does. I love it. There's a failure to extract.
one failure to extract, not a problem. No snags. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to let you guys know. If you're in California, they won't let you drop the mag out. Yeah, so you have to you have to pull it out. It's not that it's uh, tough, but it's not gonna drop by itself in California. Failure to extract with Fioki. That failure to extract could have been me. I may have limp wristed it, okay? So we're not going to blame the ammo on that one. Operator error. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been fun. I have only seven shots left. I went through, I would say about 130, 140 rounds. Seven shots left, so... <sighs> FMK! C91 or 91C. Anyway, they only make one handgun and one rifle at MFK, FMK. Um, as I said, the company is located in California. They're in Placentia. And they did an amazing job with this, I have to tell you. I don't understand how they come up, can come up with a sub $300 9mm that is functional. It's a Glock but better. Bye. All right, guys. Well, I'm back from the range, and uh, let's just take a look at uh, this thing in depth. Let's see how this FMK takes apart. Alright guys, well, I finished shooting this FMK and I must tell you, I was really really worried going into this. I've seen some not so positive reviews online and this uh, firearm actually sent me back only about $289 and of course before all the California taxes, but still, a 9mm under $400 in California is unheard of. So naturally I was not holding my breath on this thing performing and um, I decided not to get disappointed either way. So although, although I really wanted this one to work, I must tell you it's awesome. I love it. The first 50-60 shots were crap nothing but failures to eject, uh, feeding issues, that kind of stuff. 
I thought it was ammo, but it is not. This thing worked itself through beautifully, and man, I just had a blast. Uh, as you guys could probably tell from the video, I was really having a good time. So, so essentially, essentially this is pretty close to what you would hold in your hand if you were holding a Glock 19. Well, it's not exactly a Glock clone, but once we get past those superficial differences, it's essentially a Glock clone. So let's take a look. Look, there's no magazine, chamber is empty. Let's take it apart and uh, see what it looks like on the inside after firing 150 to 100 rounds. So takedown is exactly the same way. I actually like their takedown levers a little bit better than Glocks. I do have nails and it just works better for me. On my Glocks, I have to install an extended slide uh, lock, uh, slide levers release. Anyway, um, so let, let's take it apart. Same procedure. There it goes. There's the spring. It's a captured spring. And here's the barrel. It is not an octagonal barrel, so you should be able to shoot reloads, uh, no problem. And uh, yeah, it's filthy. It's filthy, I tell you. But essentially, the whole thing is very Gluck-like. Um, well, let's take a look on the inside. You see that right there. Uh, one of the main differences that I did notice, it does have a loaded chamber indicator. It's this uh, red thing right here. It's pretty tactical. Uh, it pops out, so in the dark you can actually feel it and uh, know whether you have a chambered round or not. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's got its basic Glock-like sights, which I'm not crazy about, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't see much difference. So it takes down exactly like a Glock. Here are some of the internals. It is slightly different, um, and no Glock magazines will not fit in this. Um, I am just very happy with this gun. This pad right here, it's rubberized, and it just makes me grip this. It is really, really nice. Um, the recoil, thanks to this thing, is negligible. I mean, for a nine, to have really decent recoil action. I mean, I was very impressed with this. Um, it's double action only, which is fine with me, but you can always replace it to a fa what they call fast action, which is a single action. Anyway, um, it shot excellent. I loved it. It is wonderful, and it is probably the best $350 I've ever spent. Um, all right. I'm gonna get cleaning this thing and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, production over here. Let's put this back on, on the rail. Oh wait. Shouldn't the barrel go in first? I think so. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this thing and uh, we're gonna take it out next time. I can't wait. I am excited. It is a beautiful thing for $289. Guys, don't be afraid. I am not affiliated with FMK, but they are American. They make them right here in California. Support these people. Don't listen to the negative reviews. I'm telling you, this thing is a champ. It really, really is for the price and the performance is excellent. What else can I say? Thank you so much for viewing this. Play safe. I'll talk to you soon.